What do you think is the greatest challenge right now for journalists in covering President Trump compared to President Obama and even George W. Bush? Well, I think um, it's tough when people don't believe in facts and truth and, and reality. It's, uh, it's a little bit difficult, but it makes us better and it, it makes us have to perform our jobs um, with even more diligence than we did before. And everybody's talking about the Kanye West news. Were you surprised to see him uh, come out and write those tweets and endorse the president? Not really. I wasn't surprised to see him um, tweet or endorse the president. Um, I think, let me say that again. I wasn't surprised to see him tweet. Kanye should be able to say and do whatever he wants to. This is a free society. But anyone who has a platform as big as Kanye West should be aware of their platform and the power of their words and also should be knowledgeable in the issues that they're speaking about. And what do you think about this whole uh, Joy Reid controversy? Uh, do you think she actually wrote those blog posts, or do you think she was hacked? It's not I, really clear. Here's about. what I have to say. I think um, I don't know enough about the story to, to comment on it, but I, I will tell you, and again, I don't really know about it. I haven't investigated. I haven't really. I know Joy Reid. I think she's an important, important voice. Um, I, would, I would hate to hear or see that voice be squashed, but if she did something wrong, that she has to suffer the consequences. But as a person, as a human being, and as a journalist, I support her, and I think she's an amazing person. But if she did something wrong, then you know we'll see what happens. A lot of people do things wrong. They apologize. I'm not perfect. I've made mistakes. Apologize and see where it goes from there. The latest news is she's saying they don't appear to be hacked, but she doesn't remember writing them. That's, that's the latest. Yeah, but I don't know enough about that. I, as I said, I support her as a person, as a journalist, but as far as the controversy going on, I don't really know about it enough to really comment on it.